Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing? I hope all is well. I'm doing great this evening. I decided to put up this video because I told you guys on Saturday when I did that vlog that I was gonna get back with you guys when I got to Michael's. But when I got inside of Michael's, I realized that I didn't have that much charge left on my phone. So I wasn't able to do the whole video there in Michael's. So why I started a video and then your phone died. So what I went there for was some beads, but I'm just gonna show you guys what kind of beads that I'm talking about. Well, it's not really the same beads that I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking for bubblegum beads, but these are beads here. And then this is a spacer that I was looking for, which they did not have it in Michaels. Um, I got these here from Amazon, but I wanted to check in Michaels to see if they had them there cheaper. So that's why I went to Michaels. I went to Home Goods about three weeks ago, and they didn't have them. So I'm going to continue to look for those because what I'm trying to do is do more of these. These are pens, they're ink pens. And this one has like a little tassel on it. This is another one. And then this is another one. So they have the little beads here that you put on and then the spacer. There's a spacer here and then there's a spacer there. So I picked this up as a craft and I enjoyed doing them. And then these are the wine stoppers also. So like I said, I went there to see if they had um, bubblegum beads. So they don't, I'm gonna go back and try to look again. If not, then I have to try another, you know, find some more beads or um, order some more from off of Amazon. But um, I, like I said, I started this craft a couple of weeks ago. And then they have like a little stand here where you can, Stand the pins up in here. I know a lot of people are not into craft, but these, you know, even if you're not, you might just like, you know, looking at stuff like this or the ones that are into crafting. So, this is some things that I do, you know, uh, that's therapeutic that I enjoy doing. And then the wine stoppers. Um, the wine stoppers don't go inside of here. They won't fit because it's not for this, but I just placed them here. But the pens are made for this as well. The pens are made for this, sorry. But the wine stoppers are not. I just laid them there just, you know, just for show. But yeah, that's just, just for any crafters or for anyone. I know, like I said, Everyone might not be into crafting, but it's probably just something, you know, I just want to show you guys. It's something that I do, I started doing, so. That's that. And then I also wanted to show you guys, uh, last Friday was employee, um, um, employee Appreciation Day, and my supervisor just out of the blue, she called me and one of my other coworkers into um, the conference room. And I was not sure why she called us in the conference room, but she gave us this for Employee Appreciation Day. 
And I thought it was really nice because I wasn't expecting it. And it says, Alisa, I appreciate all your hard work and dedication. And it has her name there. I thought this was really nice. When you least expect that those are the, the gifts and stuff that mean so much. And then she got us a gift card. And it says, thank you. And she know I like Starbucks. And it says, Alisa, I want you to know how much I appreciate your hard work, your calm demeanor, and your dedication. Thank you. And it has her name. Like I said, the small things like here, like this here, means so much to me. And especially when you're not actually looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? If it's just you caught off guard with a gift that someone gives you. It means a lot to me. I don't know about anybody else, but it does for me. And then she got me a candle. And she know I love candles. I love candles. And it smells really good. So I thought that was nice, guys. I wanted to share that with you guys. That is that. And even though I could not find the bubblegum beads in the Michaels, I could not just walk in there and then walk back out. I got me a vinyl roll stand. So this is for the vinyl stone that you put on t-shirts, which I started doing um, t-shirts as well. So it's just the stand itself that you can actually put the vinyl rolls on. And this wasn't bad. I got this, it was on clearance. It was $27.99, and then I got it on clearance for $7. And it holds, it says holds up to 20 vinyl rolls, 10 adjustable wire holders. So uh, this wasn't bad for the price. I didn't think so. It was, you know, I didn't think it was a bad price. So that's that. And then I got some stickers. And some bling stickers. I'm gonna do some ID um, badges, so um, I'm going to use these here and see how it turns out. So these are little bling bling stickers. And then this is like a um, little flowers that I'm going to put on the ID badge. Just something for me to try out. gonna start um, making a few things. I haven't decided what I wanted to do just yet, but um, this here is a paper punch that was what? It says $54.99 and I got it for $22. So I'm thinking about a craft that I want to do with this here, but I'm not really sure what it is, but I'll get back with you guys once I decide what it is that I want to do with it. And then these are binders that I got also. They wasn't on clearance or on sale. I think, I think, I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember how much these were, but they wasn't on sale or clearance. And then I got this double-sided tape. So I'm gonna use this for the craft that I'm gonna decide, you know, whichever craft I decide to do with this binder. It's a double-sided tape. 
And that is it, guys. I just wanted to show that to you guys. Oh, also, I want to show this with, to you guys. Sorry. I told you guys that I have my own travel agent, and I told you that I was going to talk a little more about it in another video, which I will. Uh, but anyways, um, the, I did this t-shirt yesterday. This is my first t-shirt that I've done, and I don't think that I did bad at all. I think I did good. And it says, travel agent, boss lady, ask me about my business. So I thought this was a good way to, you know what I'm saying, promote your business. So here it is, and here's the pink, because I love pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors. Uh, yep, I did this yesterday on my first try. I've been watching a lot of videos, so. Yep, so I thought I did great on this. But yeah, um, I, have, I have had my business. It's going on, I'm just going to briefly say a couple of things about this business thing. Um, I've had my business for about a year and a couple of months. And I will say this, for those that don't have a business and trying to start a business, let me tell you this here. When it comes down support to support, the ones that you think would support you like the most, they won't. And this goes for family and friends. You will get a total stranger that will support you before your own family and your friends. I'd never realized that until I got my own business. You know, you will see those that are really, truly, genuinely, genuinely happy for you. When you accomplish things, you know what I'm saying? Um, you get a business you'll see those that who are truly, really, 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 truly, you know, um, that is happy for you, you know, and you'll also see those that claim that they're happy for you, but in the background, they're hating. You know, it's sad to say that, but it's true. It's real life. Not everybody that is in your circle, inner circle, they're not cheering for you. They smile in your face. You know, they'll say they're happy for you and all that. But deep down inside, they're not. They say one thing, but their action shows another. Action speaks louder than words. I will say that. But I will say this. Don't let that, those that do have a business or um, thinking about getting a business, don't let that discourage you at all. Don't let those that, you know, you know, or family discourage you because they're not supporting you. What is for you is gonna be for you. You know, whatever God has for you is gonna be for you, okay? And if it's gonna be those strangers, that's great. That's great. But don't let those that you know and your family members discourage you for keep on pushing, 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 pushing. Don't let, because that's what they want you to do. And most of the time, the, what they're doing is they're praying on your downfall. They're praying on your downfall. The ones that you least expected, 
are praying on your downfall. And that's why I always say, be careful who you tell certain things to when it comes down to like really personal business or when it comes down to you accomplishing things or like that or whatever, or if you're trying to get a house, or you're trying to get a car or whatever it may be that you're trying to do to better yourself. Be very careful. Sorry about Bentley. He want to get out that cage and I'm not because he's going to be jumping around and I can't finish my video. And I'm sorry about the noise. Be careful who you tell your business to. Be careful who you tell your business to because everybody is not for you. Everybody is not for you. And when I say that, I mean that. <laughs> They're not for you. And you tell certain people certain stuff that you're trying to do, trying to accomplish and all this other stuff or whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Oh, yeah. You're smiling right now, but you get behind closed door and you're praying on my down downfall. So that's why it's very important to... <laughs> Um, be careful with whom you tell your business to. Because everybody, like my mom always used to say, everybody that's smiling in your face, Lisa, is not your friend. And I had to learn that the hard way. I really did. Okay? So, with that being said, I don't want to, you know, rumble too much about that. But with that being said, um, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out your day um or night or morning wherever you know what time it may be where you are at thank you guys so much for watching my video um the last i checked this morning i had 97 subscribers so somebody must have subscribed to my channel over the weekend and i really appreciate it i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers but i know like i said before it takes time it's not gonna happen overnight. And even though there's a lot of people, you know, watching um, my video and stuff like that or whatever, it's like pulling teeth to have them to um, subscribe to, you know, the channel or to um, comment or like or whatever the case may be. But it's all good. Um, I know in due time, God will get me there. And those that are for me or for this channel is going to be here for me from the beginning until the very end. And they will be here to support me also. I'm not asking for money or anything like that. I just ask if you're watching, just hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell so you're made aware whenever I put up a new video. Comment, you know, like it and share my video. You know, if you're watching it, I mean, that's not in, it's not tossing you one red set, like I said in my other video. One red set, and what it's doing is once you do that, it just shows um, YouTube, you know, my algorithm of my, you know, of the my um channel, you know, what I'm saying. But I'm gonna be okay, my channel's gonna be fine. You know, when it's time, it's going to be time, you know, and like I said before, what's for me is going to be for me. And when it's time for um, me to hit my uh, milestone with my channel, it will happen. So until then, like I said, thank you guys for those that are, you know, um, supporting um, my channel. I really appreciate the, you know, I really, really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you taking your time out your day to watch my um, videos. You don't have to, but you do. And that's the least that I can say is I really thank you guys so very, very much. But until next time, you guys be safe. God bless. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.